Hi friends, today we are going to discuss the second point in the carbon compounds. Up to this, what we have studied, we have to just revise that. As we know that in the first point we studied, carbon is the very important, amazing and versatile element. Carbon that having the important property to form the large compounds. And in our day-to-day -day life, we are using the many compounds like the food nutrients, carbohydrate, protein, fats, vitamins, they are the carbon compounds. Medicines, dyes, paint, as well as in our day-to-day -day life, many of the compounds, they are the carbon compounds. Our body is made up of the proteins and that is the, our hairs, muscle, skin, all they consist of the carbon. So carbon is very important element in our life. Today we are discussing that the properties of or the characteristics of carbon. What are the characteristics of carbon? The first important characteristic is that carbon is having the atomic number that the six its electronic configuration is 24. Carbon is tetravalent. At a time, carbon can form the four single bonds with the same or the different atoms. And so, tetravalency of carbon is the first important property. The second important property is that carbon can form the single bond, carbon can form the double bond, carbon can form the triple covalent bond. So, formation of the covalent bond it is the second important characteristic of the carbon. Third important characteristic of carbon is that carbon is having the property of catenation. The property of direct bonding between the atoms of the same element to form the long chain is called as catenation. Due to the catenation in many compounds, carbon can form the straight chain as well as the branched chain as well as the rings or the cycles of the carbon atoms in them. And so important property towards the carbon, no any another element having the such a strong property of catenation as like the carbon. And so third important characteristic is that carbon is having the property of catenation. Now what is the fourth important property? Carbon can form the bond with the same atom or it may form the that bond with the different atoms also. Now take the example. Carbon forms the bond with the hydrogen and carbon. See, different compounds are possible. This is the that here example. Methane, this is methyl chloride, this is dichloromethane or methane dichloride, this is chloroform or this is trichloromethane, this is the carbon tetrachloride or tetrachlorocarbon. It means that carbon at a time here forming the different compounds by combining with the same or different types of the atoms. This is also the important property of carbon. And the important characteristic here, the isomerism. Carbon can show the property of isomerism. Iso means same. And meros. The word meros indicate the part, same part. What is the meaning? Take the very simple example that N butane. N butane is having the molecular formula C4H10, but the structural formula is this CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Another is the isobutane. The molecular formula is same C4H10 as like the N butane. Now these two examples, but structural formula is different. This is the structural formula of isobutene. It means that these are the two different compounds. These two different compounds are having the same molecular formula. But the different structural formula, this is the property called as isomerism. What is isomerism? The compounds having the same molecular formula, but different structural formula. This is the property called as isomerism. 
कार्बन शोज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ आइसोमेरिज्म देर आर मेनी कंपाउंड्स वेरी सिंपल एग्जांपल दैट ग्लूकोज फ्रुक्टोज बोथ आर हैविंग द सेम मॉलिक्यूलर फार्मूला C6H12O6 बट दे आर द आइसोमर्स ऑफ ईच अदर सुक्रोज माल्टोज लैक्टोज दे आर द डाइसैकेराइड्स C12 H22O11 they are having the same molecular formula but different structural formula so this is the very important property of isomerism so these are the characteristics of the carbon compounds now the important another property today we have to study another point we have to study in this topic that is the hydrocarbons now see what are the hydrocarbons hydrocarbons means the compounds they are made up of hydrogen and carbon they are classified as the open chain hydrocarbons they are also called as aliphatic hydrocarbons and the second type of the hydrocarbon is closed chain or ring or cyclic hydrocarbon Now, what are the open chain hydrocarbons? According to their name, we can define simply the hydrocarbons that consist of the open chain of carbon atoms are called as the open chain hydrocarbons. And the hydrocarbons they consist of the closed chain of carbon atoms. They are called as the closed chain hydrocarbons. Open chain hydrocarbons are further classified as saturated hydrocarbons. and another they are the unsaturated hydrocarbons now what are the here that the saturated hydrocarbons the hydrocarbons that consist of carbon carbon single bond they are called as saturated hydrocarbons and the hydrocarbons that consist of carbon carbon double bond or carbon carbon triple bond they are called as unsaturated hydrocarbons saturated hydrocarbons they are nothing but the alkenes the general formula of alkene is cnh2n+2 alkenes the first simple example is methane second is the ethane third is the propane it means that what is their general formula cnh2n+2 alkenes alkenes are defined as saturated open chain hydrocarbons there is a very simple definition of alkenes unsaturated hydrocarbons are actually the alkenes alkenes it is the name of series of the compound having general formula cnh2n and they consist of carbon carbon double bond alkenes take the example first ethene c2 H4 CnH2n C2H4 propene propene is having the C3H6 that is the propene alkynes they are also the now classified as the unsaturated hydrocarbons having the general formula CnH2n minus two and they are having the C triple bond C C triple bond C Have we defined the alkynes? Unsaturated open chain hydrocarbons containing carbon-carbon triple bond. They are called as the alkynes. And example ethene. That is C two H two. It is C triple bond C H. This is the structural formula of ethene. This is propyne. Propyne C three C three. 3 into 2 6 minus 2 4 so c triple bond c single bond c h h h and this is only h this is the propyne what is the structural formula of ethene c double bond c remember that each carbon is bonded to always four here bonds with the another atoms CH two, CH two. We can write it simply as a CH two double bond CH two. This is the ethene structural formula of ethene. Now, what is the structural formula of ethene? C single bond C because it is alkene, and here the remaining three valencies are satisfied with the three hydrogen atoms. So ethene 
ethene and here is the ethyne so they are actually the open chain hydrocarbons no doubt closed chain hydrocarbons are also classified as homocyclic heterocyclic alicyclic aromatic also we are taking the very simply here example according to our 10th standard syllabus see the example here this is the 6 carbon containing that the example benzene benzene is having the hexagonal structure having the alternate